Hey guys, my name is William. In today's video, we're going to go over Google My Business Categories. Google My Business Categories. So hey guys, my name is William. You may be thinking, why in the hell do I need to know about Google My Business Categories? Well, here's many reasons. For instance, you may have your listing or your GMB listing down as simply, let's say, plumber. But your main bread and butter is boiler installation. I'm just giving you an example. So you may also want to go look at, and this is what I suggest, what is your top three competition? What are they doing? What's the top th three competitors doing? Are they listing your main category and subcategories, or are they just listing one main category? And we want to clone or model whatever they're already doing. And then we want to add some of our own stuff in it, and then we beat them and outrank them. Okay, so we're going to go over that. We're going to go over some of the tools I use whenever I'm looking at this stuff, and to show you exactly what we're talking about. One of which is number one tool I love, 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 besides... When I'm doing audits, I use GME Crush, but I also love Plepper. On Plepper, at P, it's Plepper, P-L-E-P-E-R.com. Also, as you're watching, make sure to stay to the end of the video because I will be giving you my free Google My Business Category spreadsheet where I list out every one of these categories, all alphabetical ties and already ready for you. But let's say, for example... We go to tools here and we can go to Google My Business Categories list 2021 and I hit fetch Google categories and you have thousands and thousands of categories. Let's go roofer. All right. There is no roofer, right? There's roofing contractor. So here's a primary example, right? Or you may think, for example, when I'm naming my home page, I need to just name it home. One of the things I do is I like naming your home page according to your GCID or your Google category ID. So I would name your main home page and the H1 and any associated H2s according to your main category. In this instance, roofing contractor. So my home page should be roofing contractor. My H1 should be roofing contractor in plus city or plus location. Okay. Let's get another example for a boiler installer, right? So boiler manufacturer, boiler supplier, you know, all these different things, plumber. But if we were to go to maps, so let's say, and we look up plumber, just give you an example, plumber. And in Orlando, right? And we were to choose any one of these guys like this one. And I wanted to beat Drain Genie. I can see that they have a few categories, plumber, contractor, water damage restoration right and I go look at the next guy what's this guy have plumber he's number two what's the third guy have wait for this to get done but you kind of get the drift right I want to look at what everybody has and what is specifically the top three people have. A lot of times what we do, like this guy's falling at number five and he's got plumber, air conditioning, air conditioning contract, furnace repair, heating contractor, Havoc. I could tell you that all this BS right here that he slapped in here is a problem. You should model the top three that are beating you. This guy's just got plumber, you know, then choice here, he's got what? Plumber. So consistently we're seeing one category. And what we want to do with our little handy dandy sheet that you guys are going to comment to get, we have everything categorized. So let's say I want to look for plumber and I see plumber here. We got plumbing store, plumbing supply store, you know, 
let's say it was air conditioning. You know, I wanted to see what people are selling or what people categories are using. We got air conditioning contractor, air conditioning repair service, air conditioning store, air conditioning system. So I go air conditioning contractor. Let's see if I was looking up air conditioning repair, air conditioning repair, right? Service, let's say in Orlando, because it's hot as shit in Florida. What are these people also putting? Let's click on this one. Air conditioning service, air conditioning contractor, electrician, heating, and HVAC. You'll see a lot of this a lot of times with air conditioning repair. Air conditioning, air conditioning, air conditioning, heating, HVAC, plumber. So depending on your category, that's what you want to do is mimic who's ever in the top three. Air conditioning service. So if you want my spreadsheet, which I go over all these categories, every single one of these categories, make sure to comment below and I will get this over to you. But remember, it's highly important to do your research into your top competition. Okay, so if I was building out this specific website, just say, for example, you know, this guy doesn't even have, you know, even worse, doesn't even have a website. But this guy, let's go to this one. What we usually want to do is our website URL for home page, for example, what I would do is if it was a, you know, according to your GCID here, in this case, it is plumber. So I personally would want my home page, my landing page to be plumber, just like we just did right here. Right? I want to name my landing page for, for home page plumber instead of just home. Okay. And then in WordPress, you can have it set up so your home page automatically goes to whatever page you choose or you have made. So we always want to be considering our structure of it in comparison with our Google My Business categories. I hope this little short video helped you guys when it comes to Google My Business categories. And if you would like this spreadsheet, make sure to comment below and I will get this over to you. You guys be blessed and have a great day. I have so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitch and they cry, labeling me SEO Black Hatter was a nobody. Now I'm at the top. Most wanted, most loved, bad business owners, and hated by most SEO opponents. You think you're an SEO guy, but you're an SEO.